Inflation and GDP are the words we most commonly hear via media, politicians, right wing, left wing, etc. Though most of the people are already aware what these words mean, this video is for the people who are not aware about them. Inflation is the rate of increase in prices over a given period of time. Inflation is typically a broad measure such as the overall increase in prices or the increase in the cost of living in a country. But it can also be more narrowly calculated for certain goods such as food or for services such as haircut. Whatever the context, inflation represents how much more expensive the relevant set of goods or services has become over a certain period of time, most commonly a year. An increase in the supply of money is the root cause of inflation, though this can play out through different mechanisms within the economy. A country's money supply can be increased by the monetary authorities by printing and giving away more money to citizens, legally reducing the value of the legal tender currency, loaning new money into existence as reserve account credits through the banking system by purchasing government bonds from banks on the secondary market. In all of these cases, the money ends up losing its power. The mechanisms of how this drives inflation can be classified into three types. Demand pull inflation, cost push inflation, built in inflation. Demand pull inflation. This is the upward pressure on the prices that follows on shortage in supply. When demand surpasses supply, higher prices are the result. A low unemployment rate is unquestionably good in general, but it can cause inflation because more people have more disposable income. There are five causes for demand pull inflation. First one, a growing economy. When consumers feel confident, they spend more and take on more debt. This leads to steady increase in demand, which means higher prices. Second, increasing export demand. A sudden rise in exports forces an undervaluation of the currencies involved. Third, government spendings. When the government spends more freely, prices go up. Fourth, inflation expectations. Companies may increase their prices in expectation of inflation in the near future. Fifth, more money in system. An expansion of the money supply with too few goods to buy makes prices increase. Cost push inflation also known as wage push inflation occurs when overall prices increases due to the increases in the cost of wages and raw materials. Higher cost of production can decrease the aggregate supply in the economy. Since the demand for goods hasn't changed, the price increases from production are passed on to customers creating cost push inflation. Built in inflation. It is related to adaptive expectations, the idea that people expect current inflation rates to continue in future. As the prices of goods and services rises, workers and others come to expect that they will continue to rise in the future at a similar rate and demand more costs or wages to maintain their standard of living. Their increased wages result in a higher cost of goods and services and this wage price spiral continues as one factor includes the other and vice versa. Types of indexes Depending on the selected set of goods and services used, multiple types of baskets of goods are calculated and tracked as price indexes. The most commonly used price indexes are consumer price index which is CPI and wholesale price index which is WPI. The consumer price index. The CPI is a measure that examines the weighted average of prices of a basket of goods and services which are of primary consumer needs. They include transportation, food and medical care. CPI is calculated taking price changes for each item in the predetermined basket of goods and averaging them based on their relative weight in the whole basket. The prices in consideration are the retail prices of each item as available for purchase by individual citizens. Changes in the CPI are used to assess price changes associated with the cost of living, making it one of the most frequently used statistics for identifying periods of inflation or deflation. Wholesale Price Index The WPI is another popular measure of inflation, which measures and tracks the changes in the price of goods in the stages before the retail level. While WPI items vary from one country to other, 
they mostly include items at producer or wholesale level. The formula for measuring inflation. The above mentioned variants of price indexes can be used to calculate the inflation between two particular months or years. Percentage of inflation rate is equal to final CPI index value divided by initial CPI index value into 100. For example, if you wish to know the purchasing power of rupees 10,000 changed between September 1975 and September 2018. If CPI value as on September 1975 was Rs 54.6 which is initial CPI and for September 2018 it was 252.439 which is final CPI value. So the percentage of inflation rate would be 252.439 divided by 54.6 into 100 so that will be again 4.6234 into 100 that is equal to 462.34%. As we wish to know how much rupees 10,000 from September 1975 would worth be in September 2018, multiply the inflation rate by the amount to get the change rupee value, which would be like this. Change in rupee value is equal to 4.6234 into rupees 10,000 that will be equal to 46,234.25 rupees. This means rupees 10,000 in September 1975 will be worth rupees 46,234.25. Essentially, if you purchase a basket of goods and services as included in CPI definition worth rupees 10,000 in 1975, the same basket would cost you rupees 46,234.25 in September 2018. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sure at this stage you must have got some basic understanding about inflation. Now when you read in newspaper, watch on news, hear politicians, right wing, left wing, blaming or praising about inflation or deflation, you can classify what type of inflation they are referring and how good or bad is it for yourself. Don't just get carried away, have some basic knowledge, empower yourself and decide yourself. Wherever needed, take relevant expert advice. We will discuss briefly about GDP in the next video. Thank you.